Hello everyone, welcome to my 7th tutorial of the Indian Bamboo Flute or the Bansuri. I'm Chiranji from the Divine Bansuri YouTube channel and in my previous tutorial we talked about Alankas and how to practice the Alankas and in today's tutorial we'll be talking about the ornamentation techniques used in the Bansuri. So let's start. Ornamentation techniques are the ways in which you enhance the sound of the Bansuri. So these techniques are widely used in Bollywood songs and Hollywood songs and everywhere these techniques are used and this, this, these techniques are used to express the emotions and the feelings of the, of the music or the, or the composition of or any rag or any, any song which you, you, which you take. Then these, all these techniques are used everywhere in almost all the songs. So we'll be discussing around 8 techniques which are widely used in the Indian classical music in the Bansuri. And uh, we will be practicing them in the Bansuri. So I have a C scale Bansuri. Or you can take also take a A scale Bansuri or a G scale Bansuri if you are comfortable enough with the C scale and A scale. So the first technique is called the Kern Swar or the Grace Notes. So Kern Swar are played with the help of a note before the note or after the note. So I will just show you. So it's like if I play a Sa. But if I use the Kern Swar for Sa using Ni like. Or if I use Re. So it is like that. So, but important point here is don't play knee for more time. So it will it will be wrong practice. So this is not consort. This is correct. But this is not correct. So, so we'll just practice it from the complete sargam. practice this. So, Kernswar are used in Bollywood songs like the movie from the song that is um, Achha Chalta Hoon. Achha Chal Chalta Hoon. Grace note or the Kernswar. Sare Ga 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 So, it's like that. Second technique is called the mean and it is the most important and most beautiful ornamentation technique used in Indian classical music which is used, which is played in the Bansuri. So I will show you that is called the glide of the note. So if I play from Ni to Sa, let us say. This is just a cut of note but if I play a mean. See I am playing a, just a. Like moving my fingers from knee to sa very smoothly. So I can do it from dha to sa also. You can do the reverse also like. From pa to sa. So this practice, this uh, you need a lot of practice. And if you master this technique, then the sound of the Bansuri is enhanced a lot and uh, this technique is used in Bollywood songs like uh, there is a song from Rangde Basante that is Tu Bin Batai so that is like Tu Bin Batai Mujhe Le Chal Kahi so that is like Mujhe Le so this is the mean from one note to the other note so if you practice this in the Bansuri, it will be like, so let's say, let's practice the Sargam. Here comes the problem. When there is a jump from Ma to Pa, we cannot play mean from Ma to Pa in the Bansuri. Because there is a break from Ma to Pa. Unlike the other notes like if I play from uh, Re to Ga, you can slide it, but you cannot slide it from Ma to Pa. So let's continue. Yeah, 
you can do the reverse like So this is called the mean and it is very important so you practice it a lot uh, until the sound of the smoothness is very very uh, very very beautiful so practice the mean in such a way that you are pulling the pulling the fingers from the from the from one note to the other that is like if i play a mean from pa to sa you just pulling your fingers so if i play from dha to uh, re let's say and doing if i am doing the reverse let's say from sa to dha just just putting it softly so this soft fingering is very important and also do the alankas practice of the alankas like from uh, in the in the mean technique like let's say pa ni dha sa ni re so do it like do it in that way so that the practice of the alankar is done in the mean technique so the third ornamentation technique is called the khatka and it is like a jerk of note that is from if i play a sare sadhan nisani nisani sare sa nani da nani da so it's like the jerk of notes so this khatka technique is also used in many bollywood songs like the lata ji song that is तो से रे तो से सो दिस इज अ खटका एंड ऑल्सो अ सॉन्ग दैट इज लाइक हमें तुमसे प्यार तुमसे प्यार सो दिस इज अ खटका सो इफ आई प्ले इट इन द बांसुरी रूल बिल like that so the beauty of the song increases with the khatka the fourth ornamentation technique is called the zamzama and it is a cluster of khatkas played together so it will be like landing on a particular note you have to play it faster so to to show the beauty of the zamzama so here you have to land in a particular note and you have to play it faster the khatkas has to be played faster to show the beauty of the zamzama so the fifth ornamental certain technique is called the murki and it is like a set of notes taken quickly to produce a beautiful effect so it will be like so if you are, if you are practicing alankar let's say so this, this is a murki because if you are pra- practicing alankar then padani da padani sani da so if you if you take it quickly then that is murki padani da padani da padani da dani sani da dani sani da so that is murki and if i uh, tell you about a bollywood song so there is a song that is tujh sang ve sang ve re na ga to just hang there so this is this is the murki part so how to practice this murki like what kind of murki is can i play so the basic thing is about the murki is you practice the alankar and do the do the small parts of the alankar so that that will become the murki so as i as i told you so another murki you can do pata nahi dani dani jani da so it's like that so you practice that and also there can be other murkis like sare 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 ni sa sare 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 ni sa the sixth ornamentation technique is called the andolan so andolan is like oscillating a note so if i play like oscillating you are just just softly moving your fingers 
from ni and sa and repeating again so we have in bollywood songs we have like pucho na kaise maine ran vita ai so that is like oscillation so we have in like rag bhairav so it's like sa re ga so from sa to komal re we have like sa re ga ma pa da pa pa da ni sa so from pa to dha it's like komal dha it's like na pa so it gives a very serious kind of effect so this is also a important technique in indian classical music the seventh ornamentation technique is called the vibrato so as the word suggests it's a kind of vibration so if i play sa normal sa this is normal sa if i play the vibrato so you're taking a jerk of your breath generally played like the volume is increased uh, while doing a uh, vibrato so it's like so do the sargam in the vibrato should be clear the the sound of the vibrato should be should be uh, you, uh, anyone any listener should be able to uh, particularly know that the sound is coming as a vibrato the eighth ornamentation technique is called the tonging and is specially for the bansuri so if i play the sa like this is normal sa and if i apply the tonging here so i'm stroking the note like like two 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 if i increase the speed of the uh, of the the stronging then it's like spitting so so you can practice the sargam like this and if i increase the speed more than so if i do in a different way then it's like a mo- moving train so thuk 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 so see how the the beauty of the bansuri emerges so don't do it faster you can do it faster because this is is no uh, much of technique you you just applying the blowing like uh, you increasing the speed so the note note gets played automatically there is no much there is not much uh, of uh, fingering speed you require you just uh, need your blowing speed so this is also a important technique is especially for bansuri so if i play the all the techniques in the bansuri uh, then how the sound of the bansuri is enhanced uh, you can see i'm just playing a random random number of notes together and using applying the uh, techniques in the bansuri so
everything like murki andolan then vibrato then kanswar mean everything i have used to play this this uh, piece in the bansuri there is another important ornamentation technique that is called the gamak in indian classical music and it is very difficult to play in bansuri for beginners and and uh, i have kept another tutorial there is a separate tutorial for it because uh, i want to show the delicacy of the gamak how to play the gamak in the bansuri and it is difficult really difficult for beginners it take like around months of practice to master the gamak so we'll be covering in our next tutorial so that's it for today guys so i hope this tutorial was very helpful and uh, you try to uh, practice each and every uh, sort of uh, ornamentation techniques which we discussed today and try to play that in sargam that is sare gama pada ni sa so you apply this um, techniques to this sargam thank you for watching this video if you like this video please press the like button please share this video and please do subscribe to this channel for latest videos and if you have any questions or queries please do comment thanks again have a great day